And welcome to another episode here at Jaws Podiatry. We have the wonderful fortune, the good fortune, of having Dr. Stewart. I present to you guys Dr. Stewart. Hi, how's it going? Yeah. He's not nervous, I promise. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> the reason why I'm doing this video is because I'm going to present to you guys on Facebook, uh, first and foremost, pictures, right? So I wanted to give you guys an introductory uh, video to the pictures that I'm going to uh, present. Um, young patient who came in recently, we exhausted, uh, actually, let me backtrack. Young patient who presented with severe pain to the bottom of his left foot. And the patient had been battling this problem for a very long time, months, right? Now we go back to what I always talk about, acute, subacute, and chronic stages. Uh, this was clearly a patient with chronic left foot pain. So what we, what we went ahead and uh, after we obviously address, uh, assess and address the problem, I sent the patient to get an MRI, which revealed an interdigital Morton's neuroma. Okay. Morton's neuroma. We've all heard the term, or possibly, right, neuroma. What is a neuroma? And I'm going to let Dr. Stewart. Take it from here and maybe see what it takes to be in front of a camera. <laughs> so, all right. So, essentially, Morton's neuroma. When we say Morton's neuroma, that's in the third interspace. So, in between all the toes, there's going to be a nerve that runs and separates and pretty much goes individually into each toe on each different side. Morton's neuroma is going to be in between the third interspace, and it is right here right in between this one. Um, and it is actually the most common type of neuroma. Um, so pretty much patients come in and they say they feel a wrinkle in their shoe, a, a pebble that they might feel, those kind of symptoms. Um, and essentially what happens is that the nerve becomes thickened in that area. It may be the kind of different type of shoe gear, um, the type of anything that they might have that they're wearing. Um, and essentially, like I was saying, it becomes thickened and it starts uh, either causing pain right under the metatarsals, right under the bottom of the foot, um, or it actually radiates and tingles up into the toes. Um, so essentially, those are the kind of symptoms that we kind of expect. Okay, let's stop there. So, <clears throat> patient presented, we exhausted all conservative therapies, we tried the cortisone, we tried the alcohol sclerosing injections, we recommended some custom molded orthotics, and I can go on and on. on. Uh, the patient finally, because the pain from the clinical presentation was affecting the patient's daily, uh, daily life activities, we decided to pursue with dun, 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 surgery, okay? So now we're going to go back to the diagram, and I'm going to let Dr. Stewart explain exactly, right, what do we do in surgery, okay? So he'll go ex uh, ahead and explain sort of what we do. Go ahead. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so in surgery, pretty much uh, we make an incision. Uh, right over the, the metatarsal heads um, and we try to find and we go bluntly and go into a dissecting space uh, to try to get the neuroma, visualize the nerve, the thickening part um, and we try to go uh, fairly proximal to where the neuroma is and uh, pretty much with a type of ablation depending on what it is um, that we have available. Um, we resect the nerve and try to, uh, with the ablation, to keep it from... Okay, so back. let me ask you a question. What is this structure here? Right here. This would be the intermetatarsal ligament. Right, so in order here. to get to this, what do we have to do to this? We need to separate the intermetatarsal Okay, so let's separate ligament. it. So yeah. then we go. We separate it, right? We transect it. Mm -hmm. The nerve is actually running underneath the ligament. So we, in order to get to the nerve, we have to cut the ligament. So we cut the ligament. Voila, then we have the nerve. Go ahead. So then, just like he said, right? Watch this. This is the neuroma. The neuroma, okay, the nerve gets, like he just said before, it gets enlarged or engorged, okay? The problem is metatarsal, metatarsal are actually doing what? This this to the nerve and every time that the metatarsals click on that nerve it's like you hitting your funny bone right that you feel it here in your fingers that's what it feels like it's a very uncomfortable feeling so what we basically do right we can pick it up right here Just go ahead and we grab it right 
So we'll just kind of start taking it away and away and away, right? Kind of like that. We'll just erase it, then we excise it. Now, this is what we call the bunny ears. And every digit, these are sensory nerves, by the way. So if anyone is, is wondering, well, what about the toes? Are they not gonna move? No, they're sensory. So what you basically end up is there's a possibility you probably have numbness in between the toes. And people always ask me, well, what if I don't have, what if I have uh, you know, problems not feeling in there? And what I say to that is, well, do you feel anything right now? And they usually kind of look at me like, no, you're right, I don't. So nonetheless, you know, once we get to this point, we cut it, the nerve here, the two little bunny ears. Got to clean it here. And voila. Now the million dollar question is, what do we do with this, right? This is still part of the nerve. And the, and the nerve cells are still alive. And nerves, just like... I'll give you guys a good analogy when you, and I hate to use this analogy, but when you grab a lizard's tail and you, by mistake, maybe pull it, right, and it, and it continues to wiggle, right, the tail is actually alive. It's kind of like the same thing here. The nerve cells are alive and they'll continue to regenerate. So what do we do? What's the worst case scenario, Dr. Stewart? Uh, stump neuroma is the most likely thing. Essentially forming another neuroma in that space. This could happen. A stump neuroma is like having shingles in your foot. Which is not good. It's more pain than before. Can you guys imagine that? So what do we do? There's a lot of, the, the foot is very complex, very intricate, right? There are some, there are some muscles around here, right? There are some muscles. These are muscles. Bear with me, people. Try to really put on your, your thinking cap on, right? So what we basically do is we take this end, To where? To the muscle. Into the muscle. To make sure that the body, right, the scar tissue does not, or anything else for that matter, any tissue, that it doesn't grab a hold of that end. If it does, it's not going to be good for the patient or for the doctor. I think this is an excellent <clears throat> video that Dr. Stewart has presented today. Uh, this is not the first time he ever does this. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I think this is a, not only a great educational video, I think this is a good video because what I'm going to present after, which are going to be the pictures, you guys are going to be able to really visualize what we just presented. I'll try my best to actually present this also on our YouTube channel, which is Jaws Healthcare. So because we don't have a video of the actual surgery, I'm going to try to just do a small clip and, and then edit that into... Uh, into the into this video so like always www.jospodiatry.com facebook just podiatry instagram dr toe jam and last but not least for all the people on facebook that are not following us on jaws healthcare on our youtube channel i urge you to go there a lot of information there that's not on on, on our youtube channel that's not on facebook and vice versa have a nice day uh, just like I promised, this is just the continuation of the previous video. So I want everyone to look at the, the picture on the left, right? So what we're looking at here is we have an instrument, right? A surgical instrument that's actually grabbing the proximal piece of the, of the nerve. And actually, this is the nerve. It runs here. And just like I told everyone, this is one toe up here and the other toe is over here. And the two little branches, this is one branch and this is the other branch. And these are the two little branches that, from the common plantar digital nerve that they actually split, right? We spoke about the bunny ears. There are the bunny ears. 
And what we basically then do is we transect, we cut right here and we cut right here and then we excise this whole thing. This is the nerve. Um, and you guys probably can't see, but right here there's muscle. And on this other side here, there's also muscle. So what we basically do with the stump, right? What's left is we embed it just like we described in our schematic diagram uh, before. So I know it's a little bit blurry and I apologize to all the viewers, but these are inches, right? So this kind of gives you an idea of the size of the, um, the neuroma, right? This is the, this is actually supposed to go up there. Okay, you guys see the, the two little bunny ears as well, but it's a very, very large neuroma. Uh, the first thing that people think about when they look at, uh, you know, neuroma is that there's, there's an absolute engorgement of the nerve, and that's not necessarily the case. I will actually go ahead, if you guys give me one second, and I'll show you guys the difference. So you guys really, really appreciate. I'm just going to go ahead and pull it up in two seconds here. Let me find it. Okay. <laughs> go ahead and close this one. And we'll bring this one over here. Okay, so this is uh, another case. This is not the same case. And on the left, we have the um, the aftermath, so to speak. The nerve has been removed, and as everyone can see, there's empty space. And one of the other major complications that we see a lot when there's empty space is the possibility of creating a hematoma, right? Um, the patient, when we do these surgeries, we have a tourniquet, which stops the bleeding. So one of the things that once we release, and obviously we, 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 we just by looking at this, right, without a tourniquet, with a tourniquet on, we can't, Told if there's a, a small vessel that is going to eventually bleed afterwards. So um, closure is very important. Now take a look at this. Look at this monster. It looks like a squid. And compare the size of this, right? The girth of this one. You have you know one bunny ear right here and the other one here. But neuromas, I guess, are definitely not. They're not all created equal. And the point of comparing this to the previous uh, picture is that it doesn't really matter the size. You can have an aroma that looks like a normal nerve and it will still create the same symptomatology, right? The same amount of pain, the same amount of uh, numbness, tingling, burning. But as you guys can only imagine, this in there with those two metatarsal heads on each side bumping against each other or bumping into the nerve, creating an excruciating amount, uh, amount of pain. I'll go ahead and edit this into the into the video, and I hope you guys uh, definitely enjoyed this uh, this educational one. I think a lot of people will definitely be able to relate to this. So, like always, thank you for watching.